Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be reviewing this 36 inch wig from Ali Pearl Hair and I'm gonna be installing it as well. I'm not talking during the install portion. I sped that up um, and I did my makeup in this video. First of all, okay, first of all, this was supposed to be a get ready with me for my 21st birthday as you can see the balloons are still back there. My birthday was July 11th, so I'm filming this part of the video a whole two weeks later. But I installed the wig. I filmed me installing it on my birthday and doing my makeup. And then after that, for some reason, I just completely forgot to film everything else. I was just like, and then when I came back, um, well, this is like another room, like outside the house. So we had our little, me and my sister, I have a twin by the way, if you didn't know that. Yeah, it was our birthday, our 21st birthday. So we were having our little thing out here. I came back in the house and I saw my camera um, and ring light and everything still set up. I was like, oh my God, I forgot to record everything. Like literally everything. So um, I just decided to turn this into a review video because I couldn't do a get ready for my 21st birthday because I didn't film the rest of it. So I don't know what I was thinking y'all, I really don't, but um, yeah, I didn't even film me straightening my hair, putting on my outfit, showing y'all my outfit. I do have pictures though, I'll insert right here. You can follow me on Instagram um, in the description and in the outro. But um, yeah, this is my outfit and the hair and everything. But yeah, I was gonna show y'all, you know, my outfit, my hair, then I was gonna show y'all everything that was set up out here. There were balloons, these balloons were right here. There was food on these tables back here. There was some set up right here with some balloon towers and everything. But um, yeah, it's just when the whole thing was over with and I went back in the house and I was like, I didn't film none of this. I was, lost it, I don't know. Yeah, I just decided to turn it into a hair review, like I said, so there's gonna be a review on this wig from Ali Pearl Hair. So yeah, if you wanna see me install this wig and I guess I'll insert me doing my makeup too cause I filmed it, so um, I'll just put that in there too. But if you wanna see that and then hear my thoughts on the wig, then keep on watching.
All right, y'all, I finished my hair and then I fell asleep. It's my birthday now. So I'm about to um, go pick up some stuff and I gotta come back and shower and shave and do my makeup and get dressed. I'll be right back. Y'all, I literally told my cousin yesterday that I was gonna break out. My skin was clear yesterday. And look. But um, I just got a shower and I shaved and everything. I'm not wearing this, by the way. I'm a, I have a dress over there. When I finish my makeup, sorry you can hear my fan. It's hot in here. So I finish my makeup and flat iron my hair. So let's do that. Then I'll take y'all and show y'all decorations, food, all of that. Don't mind my legs either. I, I gotta put some makeup on that, so leave me alone. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, this hair is from Ali Pearl Hair. This is a 36 inch wig. Let me get the 
um, details. Oh yeah, by the way y'all, also what I said I was gonna start doing was before I review my wigs, I'm gonna wear them for a while before I review it. Cause you really can't get no real review off of installing it one day, wearing it one day, styling it one day. Like you really don't know you know how it holds up over time like you know what i'm saying yeah i decided like instead of doing that instead of installing and styling and doing the review in the same day i'm gonna do the review after like maybe a week or two because i've had this in since my birthday july 11th um and it is july 23rd now so i've had this in about two weeks now and it's still holding up so um yeah and the reason i say that is because that brown wig that i did that video on that chocolate brown 30 inch wig i'll insert here in the cards yeah that wig it was all well and good like when i did the review on it you know what i'm talking about because i only had it in like a day and i filmed it that day and then like after a week maybe two weeks of wearing it that junk started like tangling real bad like knotting up and i don't know why because um i purchased from icy hair before and i still have my hair from icy hair um and that's my favorite hair ever like that i've ever purchased um, it's from I see hair, like it don't give me no problems shedding and stuff like that. So when that wig did that after like a week or two, I was like, what the heck? I was like, I see hair. What's going on? So um I don't know if it's because of the color, like when it got colored. When I bought that wig, it was um already colored and um it had been worn by Kisha Debris already. I bought it from her. But um yeah, like after a week, I was like, no. Cause it was like tangling up so bad, so easily, especially in the back. And I just wasn't feeling it anymore. But the color, I mean, the color's real pretty, but after a week, um, no. Yeah, so that's why I decided to start doing it like this because that's how I can get the most, most, what's the word? The most thorough review I can give. So I can really let y'all know how it hold up over time because I've been installing my wigs and doing the review in the same day. And like, you can't get no, you really can't get no real review off of doing that in one day. Cause you only had it in one day. Of course the hair is going to be bombed the first day you put it in. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start doing it like that, install my wigs and then doing the review maybe like a week or two later. Cause I leave my wigs in for a while. If I plan on wearing them for a while, I usually do. I usually wear my wig for like two to three weeks. So, um, and they last, I've had this in for two weeks. Like I said, and you can see it's still holding up real nice bomb hair. It's just a silky, you know. Okay, anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's get into the review. Ooh, my God, it's hot in this room. Okay. Or maybe it's the light, it's ring light. Okay. So I did film an unboxing, of course. I'm gonna put that clip here while I talk. So let me tell y'all what came in the packaging. I love the packaging for this wig and like everything that it came with. It came with some good stuff. So let me show y'all what it came with. So yeah, it came in this hot pink Alley Pearl hair satin bag. Um, and don't mind that black spot on it. I don't know what happened when I took out the poly mailer. It was all on the poly mailer on the bag and on the back that the wig came in. I don't know if it got up against something. I looked like something burnt through it or something. I don't know. On the mail truck maybe, but that's what it looked like. Hair was fine though. Everything that was in the bag was fine. So I wasn't tripping, but whatever. Yeah, it came in this pink bag. And then of course we had the wig. It came in a plastic bag, like I said, 36 inches, large cap size, 180% density. And um, you know, the hair comes in a hairnet inside the plastic bag. Then it came with a wig cap, a new wig cap, and a edge scarf, which I need. I need my edge scarf, so I love that. It came with an elastic band, and it also came with an edge brush. So that's cool, because I didn't need a new edge brush, so they came in clutch there. So yeah, that was the unboxing. That's how the packaging looks like when you purchase from Ali Pearl Hair. Very nice, very put together. Nice little items they give you. So yeah, now let's get into the review portion of the video. So, like I said, this hair is from Ali Pearl Hair. This is 36 inches, okay, period. You know, I had to do some extra for my birthday. I wasn't finna do no, no little shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I had to break out the extra. So this is a straight wig, 36 inches. The density is 180%. I got a large cap size. Y'all know my head is huge. I say this every time. I have to get large every time. So when I purchase large wigs, I will let y'all know if they big hair for me or not. Cause I got a big head and thick hair and I gotta fit all that up under a wig. So if it fit my head and all my hair, it's gonna fit your head. Yeah, I got a large cap size. The lace is transparent. Okay, it say the lace is 13 by four. And it also comes with three combs in the front, come in the back and adjustable strap. Oh, by the way, I purchased this with my own money. This is not sponsored anything like that. I bought this with my own money. Oh, the hair color. The hair color is natural black, by the way. I forgot to mention that. This is like a natural density. Um, to be honest, the next time I purchase like a long straight wig like this, I probably will get the 200% density just because I like my wigs to be like really full. Don't get me wrong, the one 
my 80% is full enough. Like it's like a natural density, like I said, but I like to be extra. So I like to have extra. I probably get 200% density next time, but there's nothing wrong with the 180% density. Like you can see, um, and I'll put it to the back so y'all can see. But yeah, y'all can see it's super long. It comes, I don't, I don't even know if y'all can see because I'm way over here and I'm trying to like make sure y'all can see it. So yeah, that's how long the wig is on me. Um, very long, almost to the bend of my leg, like behind my knee. Yeah, it's really long. I really like the length on this hair. Also, the hair is super soft and silky. And like I said, I've had this in for two weeks and like you can see, um, I haven't put any extra product on it since I straightened it for my birthday. I put cheese silk infusion on it and I haven't put anything else on it since then. And I've been straightening it and you know, going places and stuff. Yeah, it's still like real soft and shiny. It don't give no smell like when you straighten it, no funny smell when you straighten it or curl it. I did curl this hair. I'll put some pictures here of where I curled it. The curls didn't hold up that long. The curls had started falling like not long after I had um, took them down, like after I took them out, the pin curls. I don't know if that's because the hair is so long and there's so much weight on it, or maybe I didn't curl it right. Maybe I didn't put enough hairspray or I don't know, but my curls didn't hold up that long after I had curled it. So um, also nobody told me how complicated it was to curl 36 inches of hair. Like I tell you what, I probably will never do that again because that junk took me so long and I was getting so irritated because it was like, it don't fit. Like all this don't fit on this little rod and I'm just like. So yeah, the density um, is cool on it. It's like a natural density, like I said, but I prefer to be a little bit extra with my wig. So I'll kind of like mine a little bit fuller. But if you're going for a natural density, then this is what you want, 180%. But um, for me, I'll probably get 200% next time. I'm gonna try crimping this hair at some point, maybe before I take it out, cause I wanna see how it looks like crimped and I've always wanted to crimp some super long hair and wear that hairstyle, but um, I'm gonna try that out at some point before I take this hair out. I'm sure I'll post pictures in it when I do it, so you need to follow me on Instagram, cause if you don't, you can't see the pictures, and if you're not following me on Instagram in the first place, then what are you doing? Hello? Yeah, okay, density, cool. The link, y'all saw the length of it, how far it comes down on me. I'm 5'3", by the way. So, um, yeah, it comes halfway, down my thigh. Shedding, the shedding is not bad at all. I don't get any shedding like sitting here, running my fingers through it ever. But um, I do get a couple strands when I brush it, like when I get ready to style it. If I'm going somewhere and I take it out my bonnet or whatever, I brush it. I get like a couple strands, but like as far as, you know how some ways be like you be sitting there, all you can do is run your fingers through it or you be sitting there and it's like loose strands and you gotta pull them out and do one of them. And the hair just be falling, like who wants that? Like, I don't understand. But this, not at all. Like, I have never gotten a strand just from sitting around, running my fingers through it, nothing like that. It's just when I get up in the morning and brush it, I barely get any shedding then, probably like one or two strands then. So um, shedding is really not an issue with this wig, uh, little to no shedding at all, which is a plus for me, cause I don't like no hair falling all over me, all over the place, I don't like that, ew. I hate loose hair everywhere. Is that anybody else pet peeve? Like, I hate that loose hair, like, in the bathroom, on the sink, on the floor, mm -mm, no. So yeah, shedding, good in that department. What else, what else, what else, what else? The lace, lace, okay. The lace did melt pretty well. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not. It looks pretty good to me. I did have to tint it, of course, cause the lace is transparent. I put my makeup that I use on my face, like my foundation, on the inside of the lace. And then when I installed it, I sprayed the lace. When I installed it, so I sprayed the outside part of the lace. Um, with lace tint instead of makeup because I don't know for some reason when I put makeup on the lace on the outside part of the lace it just shows up like real easy I don't know why um, on pictures or anything like that it just shows up for me I don't know what the problem is I don't know why I don't have that issue when I put it on the inside part of the lace but for some reason when I put it on the outside it be trying to show up on camera like what are you doing that's what I do to get my lace to match my skin tone I put my makeup underneath and then I put lace tint on the outside the lace melted pretty well it's not hard lace it wasn't difficult to work with I know that um, I tell y'all that I have a big head. Like I said, I got a large cap size. This wig is big head friendly because, let me tell y'all something, that long hair, that other 36 inch wig, the curly one that I got from Asteria hair, I did a video on that, I put it right here in the cards. I did a video on that wig and I told y'all that I had some trouble with that wig fitting me and I got a large, so I was just like, What's the problem? It's like, I know, and I watched some other reviews from Asteria hair after I did my video, cause I was like, was it just, is it just my head? Is my head really that big? Or is like, is it the wig? Like, I don't know. So I watched some more videos after I had did mine to see what other people were saying. Cause I'm just like, what is going on? But um, people were saying the same thing about their wig. They had that same issue. It's like, it would fit right here and you could make it fit on one side. Like it would come past 
your wig cap and your hairline on one side, but the other side will be way back here. Like, what is that? Like, it doesn't meet with the other side of the wig. The, the two sides of the wig do not match. Like, they be one is back here and the other one will be in place, but the other one is like back here behind your wig cap. And you can't install no wig behind your wig cap. So, but yeah, I told y'all about that wig in that video because I was fighting with it, trying to get it on. But um, I was gonna get it on there because I paid all that money for that wig and I had to go to New York and I wore that hair in New York. And I was really excited about that 36 inch wig. So um, it was going on my head, but it was just like, I had to do all that fighting with it to get it on there because like I said, I would put it on, the front was cool. And you can pull one side, it don't matter which side you pull. If you pull one side, it'll be back here. If you pull this side, it's gonna be back here on the other side. So um, yeah, I really had to fight, fight with that wig to get it on. Um, which is why I decided to sell that wig because it just don't fit me. Like it don't fit my head. I guess my head is too big. Or I really think it's the company though, like the wig, because other people are saying the same thing and they got a large. So um, it must be y'all. So it must be exterior hair. So that's why I went with Ali Pearl hair for my birthday because I was not trying to have that issue on my birthday. Come be mad if I could not get this wig on, if it didn't look right, if it wasn't fitting right, if it was uncomfortable. I was not gonna do none of that. That's why I ended up going with Ali Pearl hair because I know a lot of companies don't sell the super long wig, like 36 inches, 40 inches. So, um, Asteria hair was one that I knew for selling long wigs, but I had to find somebody else because that jump was not working for me that last time I bought from them. And um, I watched some reviews on Ali Pearl hair and um, I heard people giving good reviews as far as the cap size if you got a large and it being big hair friendly. So I can tell you that it is big hair friendly. Um, if, it, if it fit me, it's going to probably fit anybody because I, I can't tell y'all how much I struggle with wigs fitting my head and all my hair. Like I said, I have a lot of hair, thick hair to fit up under all this. It's just, it just don't be working. Like, I don't understand. This wig is big head friendly. I did not have to fight with it to get it on. Both sides match what it was supposed to. They fit what it was supposed to. Um, no problems with that. And um, yeah, it's been holding up really well since I put it in. Like I said, it's been two weeks since I had this wig installed, two weeks. It's still looking real good to be two weeks and like the lace still intact. Everything is cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? everything's cool yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything else i need to say about this hair i think that's it yeah i think that's it i think that's all i had to say about this wig um i really like it this is one of my favorite wigs actually i probably will reinstall this at some point when i take this one out because i just love this wig i love the length i love how soft it is i love how the lace holds up um how the lace melted and um all that and, and it's big head friendly that that really be my problem with wig that really be my only problem with wig besides maybe like shedding or something but is the size like i just need it to fit that's all i need is for it to fit i probably can work with everything else if it don't fit then what you gonna do like you know yeah i really like this hair i really like this wig i really like this company i just love this hair i definitely will be purchasing from them again when i need some long wigs even if i need a short wig whatever but for sure when i get my long wigs i will be purchasing from them again because Asteria hair about pissed me off when I um uh, trying to fight with that wig trying to get it on because it just wasn't like I don't understand why it just wasn't like one side here one side there what kind of sense does that make I don't get it yeah I have nothing else to say about this wig like it's literally 10 out of 10 for me all the way around I love this hair like I said the only thing I probably would do different next time is get 200% density because I like to be a little bit extra but this is more of a natural type density if that's what you're going for I like to be extra and have a lot of fullness Cause I just don't have time for my hair to be busted down the middle and then my tracks be showing like who wants that this hair is full enough to cover that up there are no my tracks don't show at all nothing like that it's just I like my hair to be super full so that was my only thing I'll probably get 200% next time but other than that it's a yes for me sis but yeah that's it for this video I hope you all enjoyed all the information on this wig will be down in the description box below and the direct link to this wig will be in the description below as well yeah that's it for this video I hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel please and thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. Okay. You don't want to do that. Make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video, which will probably be, my next video will probably be a Shein haul. If you follow me on social media, then you will know I have a really big Shein haul coming up. A lot of items. I think it's like 52 items in that haul. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. Make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.